Hi, this is Candia with Candia Hainsworth Designs. Thank you so much for joining in today. We are talking about the formula that I use to price my items. And so I know I talked about it in pricing and markup. And uh, if you want to look at that video, I will make sure that the link is posted below. And, um, you know, in this video, um, I explained, <clears throat> excuse me, how profit and percentages can be determined and where to look to get in uh you know pricing for your items but i want to show you exactly what i do because it's one thing to you know explain it but it is something that you know kind of clicks when you actually see how it is done okay and uh you know i, I gotta tell you I, I do consider myself an intelligent woman a fairly intelligent woman but i am not a rocket scientist so you know the things that i use and things that i do is not something that's like super oh my goodness Everybody can do this, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do to price my items and how do I come up with a uh, what I consider a fair price for my work and for uh, you know the items that I sell in my company. The most popular items sold at my embroidery business are personalized bibs. It is because it's an inexpensive custom-made and personalized item offered to customers. However, when deciding on a price for my personalized bibs, I use a special formula. I eliminated companies producing embroidery goods in multiple quantities because they were not my competition. These companies specialize in mass and multiple production and not in baby ensembles. I also eliminated super centers such as Walmart and Target because although they sold embroidered goods, they did not sell personalized goods. I went to Google and looked for personalized bibs for babies. I was in search of established personalized companies who had more manpower, more machinery, and more capital than I have yet providing custom-made bibs with personalization. I entered personalized bibs for babies, and Vichy.com was the first on the list. I was eager to visit Vichy.com, and when I clicked on the website's link, I was transferred to this professional, clean website that made custom-made personalized goods for babies. But I thought, hmm, they're competition, but I'm not worried until I scrolled down toward the bottom and I saw their baby collection. I saw their starting points for their prices and I was really focused on the bib. So I clicked on their dreamy bib starting at $15. And what did I see? I saw prints, fabric prints that customers could choose from. So if they uh, clicked on the fabric print, the picture changed. And the customer even had the opportunity of selecting the back of the bib. And so I played around with it for a little while. And I got to tell you, I was impressed. And as you scroll down, you have more fabrics that customers can choose from. And I noticed that we were starting at $15, but depending on the fabric that you selected, the price changed. But I was eager to play with this. I mean, I really wanted to see, you know, how they set this website up. And so I uh, went to choose a back. And uh, let's see, the back we're going to put polka dots right let's see that's cute all right and then I want to add personalization so so far I'm at $18 okay and they give the options of no personalization or monogramming monogramming or names and words they also give you placement options as well so we're going to select names and we're going to put in let's say heaven I always said if I had a daughter I was going to name her heaven Lee. I know that sounds crazy, but I like that. Heaven Lee. Okay. And it also gives you the opportunity of choosing a font. All right. And uh, let's see if I wanted some kind of scripty font. Let's say like the Juliet script font. That's what it will look like. Okay. And I also have the opportunity to select a thread color. All right. And now let's see if I wanted to make it smaller. 
I can make it smaller if I wanted to make it bigger. Let's see how big it goes. All right, and if I wanted to make it normal size. Nope, I think that normal size and larger is around the same size, okay? And so I paused here at this point because now I just noticed that my dreamy bib has turned into $25, okay? So we went from starting at $15 to $18. Now we're at $25, okay? And I got to tell you that although I was impressed with the website itself and the uh, the convenience that it provided the, com the, the customer to build their own custom made bib, I like bold embroidery. My customers like bold embroidery. So this would not work for my customers. My customers like to see that boldness, okay? They like to see two, three inch letters, if possible, four inch letters on bibs. But so far so good because this was a really impressive website i must say nonetheless okay and so i chose a font i'm going to add it to the bag i'm already at 25 dollars. now let's see if this is going to be a free shipping or uh if this was something that you know you have a minimum order of shipping or coupon codes then no okay so shipping and handling would be 6.99 plus $25. So if we look at what we have uh, itemized here, we have $18 for the bib itself. We have $7 for the personalization, which brings it to a total of $25. And then with shipping and handling, it would be an additional $6.99, but they also offer gift box services. So if I added gift box services, that would tack on an additional $3, which would bring it down to $34.99 for one bib. Okay, so let's recap. We're recapping my pricing formula for personalized bibs, okay? So we're not talking about my personalized baking sets, baby ensembles, or any other personalized item in my business. And the reason being is because personalized bibs is the most popular item that I sell in my business. So it is smart to you know, strategize and master that plan first, and then you can kind of mimic your own system or your own strategy on all your other items, all right? So first we eliminate who my competition is not. We're talking about Walmart, Babies Are Us, Target. These stores are not my competition. And the reason being is because although they sell cutesy embroidered bibs, they don't sell personalized bibs. You cannot call Walmart or Target up and request a personalized bib and you're coming to pick it up on on the same day. However, you can do that at Candia Hands Earth Designs. Mass producing companies are also not my competition, all right? Because these companies, as you saw the picture, they're gonna have a room of multi-needle machines where they are producing items 15, 20 at a time, all right? These companies are not going to downsize their service to produce one bib or baby ensemble. And even if they do produce 15 bibs at a time, that's not going to be their bread and butter. So these companies, Companies are not my competition. I do make myself aware of who my local local competition is simply by going on Facebook. And with the 50 mile radius, I want to know who else is selling personalized bibs. All right. I want to know about their embroidery services. So I'm going to secret shop them. I'm going to get my best friend, you know, or my neighbor who's sitting here with me, call them up and ask them about their services, or I'm going to have them inbox them just to see exactly what their embroidery services entails. Okay. I'm going to compare prices. My prices have to be in competition with their prices, especially if we're talking about a 50 mile radius. All right. Now, I also want to tell you that my local competition is also online online stores as well. All right. So these are stores like Vichy.com. And because Vichy has such a, a, a impressive website, I felt compelled, compelled to change my website. Now, I cannot invest what Vichy.com invested to make their uh, website so interactive. However, I can make it pretty close. Now, remember, I also build and create my website too, so I don't have to pay a an outsider, all right? And I, but I don't have the capability of you know mixing and matching fabrics like they do. However, I do have the capability of making it as close, as close as I can, can to making it very convenient for my customer to build a custom bib. So I'm in the process of doing that now. 
Also, uh, presentation overhead and embroidery size options. Because I share so many of my trade secrets, embroidery size options is not hard to duplicate. All right. So when you think about, you know, what I put on the internet and it slowly, you know, is duplicated, I'm okay with that. Because I know once you post something on the internet or YouTube or anywhere that, you know, the world can see, it's no longer a secret. Now, if there are things that I don't want duplicated, I don't share. Like if you think about, presentation of bibs you've never seen how I present my bibs because it's something that you know is a trade secret that I have that I'm not willing to allow everyone else to duplicate so you can see that my baby ensembles are duplicated my personalized bacon sets are duplicated but that, that is the one thing that I still have over local embroidery business owners and online business owners they have not at least I haven't seen anyone doing what I'm doing so I have an edge over them there okay and, and 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 that's the truth if you want to kind of keep something a secret then you can't tell everyone right and so my overhead vishi.com have a team they have a team of staff which means that vishi.com also has a, a payroll you know, they have a team of uh, people that will be on their payroll. I don't have that. So their prices is going to be a little bit more than mine because they have an overhead expenses that I don't have. You know, I don't ha have a mortgage even because my home is paid for, but I do have utility bills, but it's not going to be at the cost that Vichy.com's utility bills are. All right, and presentation. As far as I'm concerned, I got you all beat when it comes down to presentation. I'm saying it, yes. Uh, you know, I, I am a very confident woman and I have really, really mastered the art of presentation, but I'm not done yet. And so when I see my baby ensembles duplicated or my personalized bacon sets duplicated, that's fine because I knew that that would happen, but it only makes me be better because the easier it is to duplicate something, then the more unique it's not. And so I am willing to travel all over the place looking for, you know, different containers that other people don't have access to fabrics, um, you know, contents, things that I can include in my baby ensembles that are not accessible to a lot of other people, just so I can have that edge over all of you all, you know, I mean, it is what it is, we're running businesses, right? So there are things that I see that I can do in regards to making my prices the way they are based on my practices. So when you are developing a pricing uh, formula for anything that you are selling in your business, you want to start with one item and then you want to kind of duplicate your own system. You want to know who your competition is, who they're not, what their practices are, and you want to compare your prices to them and your expenses. And these three steps can get you on the right track for developing the right formula. So let's get into what else you need to do. Let's take a look at my bibs. We have two bibs that are made exactly the same, but different. Okay, so Dominic's bib, the royal blue bib, is $14.50, whereas the Jamir bib, the navy blue bib, is $16.50. The reason being is because Dominic's bibs use a, a smaller font in one color. In Jamir's bib, we used a bolder font and two thread colors. So when you are starting to develop a pricing formula for any item, you really want to pay close attention to detailing because if I had to make an initial investment, all right, it will cost me more to produce Jamir's bib in regards to time and materials than it would for Dominic's bib and that cost have to be accounted for. Let's take a look at these two bibs. Now even though I use the same exact in the hoop design to create these bibs, they are somewhat different. And the reason being is because the closure. And so if you look at the chocolate brown bib at $14.50, the pearl lie snap is straightforward. It doesn't require any much time to invest in applying this uh, closure. It doesn't have any lace trim or anything to overall enhance the appearance of this bib. Whereas the bib on the right, the pink bib, even though it has the same design, it does have a Velcro closure, which required sewing. And it also has a floral element, okay, which also required handcrafting and sewing. So in regards to time, even though they are similar items, one requires more time and thus the price reflects the time that is invested. So we have $14.50 and we have $16.50. Let's take a look at a bib that would be $18.50. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the custom-made personalized bib with floral Velcro closure and ruffle trim sold at $18.50 at Candia Hainsworth Designs. The reason being is because it's exactly what the title says it is. It's custom-made, it's a personalized bib with floral Velcro closure and a ruffle trim. The floral Velcro closure and the ruffle trim requires hand sewing and machine sewing. The floral Velcro closure has uh, sewing involved in regards to sewing the Velcros together and the floral element itself requires hand sewing and it also requires machine sewing attaching the floral element as well as the center of it and so when you have an item that requires more time investment to enhance it the price should have reflected accordingly Prices for personalized bibs are increased when special circumstances are involved in the order. Recently, I had an order with a special request for this fabric. The color scheme for the ensemble was gold, gray, and natural. This fabric used for the bibs was exclusively sold at one store and was used in the decor of the nursery. It was made of 100% cotton, a high-quality cotton, with shimmering gold accents. Special requests for personalized bib usually involve special fabrics and special materials to be used. This includes metallic threads, metallic fabrics, trims, and even special buttons, and all will affect the cost of the personalized bib. When developing a pricing formula for your personalized item, you must be able to pinpoint exactly what the cost to produce this item will be. In this case, I knew the personalized bibs were going to be included in a baby ensemble. My ensemble pricing is a little bit different from the single pieces. However, I still needed to be able to narrow down the cost invested for materials. When customers place an order, they are presented with fabric combinations based on the color scheme they submit. Thereafter, they choose the fabric combo they want to go with and the order is started. It is very important for me to know how much each piece is going to cost to produce. In this case, the cost of the fabric is 97 cents per fat quarter. Okay, so I know I have four here, but it is also because I have two bibs and two burp cloths that went into this ensemble. But if we just narrow it in on one bib, the cost of the uh, fabric itself was 97 cents. The batting is 10 cents. The button is 8 cents. And the thread is 2 cents for both colors. The total investment to produce the bib is $1.17. So you see, the pricing for my personalized bibs varies depending on the fabric used, font preference, enhanced elements applied, and even down to the closure. In summary, my pricing formula for my personalized bibs includes knowing who my competitors are and what my competitors' prices and practices are, knowing the cost of materials, and adjusting the price of my personalized bibs according to the customer's request. So you have to be able to do that. And in order to do that, you have to kind of be able to master dividing how much what the cost is going to be according, especially when you are talking about threads. Okay, I did a, uh, a value on how much does it cost to let us use threads. And if you want to see that video, it's posted below. And I also did, um, you know, a video on, um, you know, bobbin and how much cost for the bobbin and, and so forth and these are literally cents you know when you divide how much thread is on a spool and you think about stitches and so forth it literally worked out to be like you know a, a one penny per 10,000 stitches something like that okay so you can uh, really uh, really narrow it down on what you are investing and when you do that then you can set a price for it so remember each markup you want to do a hundred percent because first you want to do 50 percent then a hundred percent which would mean that you got exactly what you invested in and then then some and then from that point on you have to increase the price until it meets the market and if you want to see how that's done you want to watch the video pricing and markup and I'll post the link to that as well. 
But when you combine these ingredients, you will be able to develop a price for your items according to its market value, fair to your customers and profitable for your company. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my formula, give me a thumbs up. But I am very interested to see what you think about it. Post your comments below, post your questions below if you think that I missed something. Now, we're not talking about how much my time cost. Okay, we're not we're not talking about how much does it cost to um, make a bib, okay? Because time can be according to what kind of machine you have, how fast you work. Like for example, I could make the same bib with this floral element and you could be doing the same exact bib with the floral element and I could finish faster just by my skill. And so in regards to time, I always say that I leave it up to business owners to figure out how much their time is going to cost because I can't say to you how much it should, your time should cost to make something. You know, you have to kind of figure that out. But overall, it, it needs to make sense for you. It needs to make sense for your customer. So I can't price this bib at $100, okay, because I was slow in making the, uh, let's say, the, the floral element, okay? Because now the customer is looking at it like, yeah, it's cute. Yeah, I know we use special materials, but geez, you understand? It, so it can't be ridiculous. And, and that's one of the things that I say that it have to make sense. So when the customer is telling me, Candy, I, I need to use a special fabric and the special fabric, you can only get it here. And I have to use this fabric because it goes with the baby. Owns. They already came with conditions and they know that the conditions is going to come with a cost or a higher price tag. All right. So once again, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I am interested to hear what you think. If you are an embroidery business owner, come join us in the group embroidery boss over on Facebook. And if you are a hobbyist, if you're a hobbyist, we welcome you guys too because, you know, even if you don't want to, you know, turn into a business, you just want to enhance your hobby. We are a bunch of people on all different levels that I'm sure that you could benefit from. And if you're neither, you just like to hear me talk and, and do presentations and you like my work, just come visit me over at CandyAhainsworth.com over on Facebook. Until then, I'll see you next time.